So my next challenge is to make this uh, removable and it's a bit of a tricky task. Once I will cast and install the uh, teeth, I will not be able to pull it back from the lamp. So I either have to make those teeth uh, removable and it's I'll, I already thought of that a bit and I couldn't get to the really good solution how to secure them strong enough for the bicycle ride you know there will be a lot of vibrations and I don't want to lose them so I think I will uh, install uh, those teeth uh, permanently and I will make the skull in two parts so this could be took apart like up and down Liar, liar, pants on fire. Anyhow, next step will be to cover this in some wax or some sort of uh, mold release and put one thin coat of uh, fiberglass mesh and uh, resin. Once I remove this, I will put extra layers inside because I don't want to build up any more uh, on top. Yeah, so that's my sketch plan.
Okie dokie. So let's uh, briefly recap what I've done so far. So I made the outer shell uh, of the beaver head. Then I removed the lamp, made the outer shell of the lamp and fused them together to form this hollow uh, head model. Then I took some clay and uh, sculpted the teeth. Once I had those uh, teeth, I let them uh, sit overnight so the clay would harden a little bit. Then I took this uh, silicone replacement. Um, I will check the name, I'll put it in the description box. Anyhow, I made the castings, I made them all. Then I casted this uh, smooth cast 300 uh, resin. I think it's uh, uh, polyurethane resin. And I came out, came out uh, with these uh, teeth. Of course, a little bit of financing was needed. But here I am.